Hello. It's me. How you guys doing this morning? So, it is, I want to say 5.30. Okay, so it's 5.34. Today is my first guest trailer, if you want to call it, of a documentary of myself. I will be giving you an insight about Chanel Monique Davidson, who I am, what I do, how it happens, what goes down, yada, yada, yada. <laughs> um, the reason why that I'm doing this is because my life is really like a movie. <laughs> so I just figured to just record and just see the comments and reviews about everything that's going on in my life so i'm going to give you a rundown of what's been happening with me for the last four months this is not just you know years this is just four months so this is the first time i have ever been through a trimester of not having anything like everybody that knows me most people know me about nelly nail or nails or Cashmere Nelly is my Facebook name. Up for grab Nelly up for grabs for Instagram is my name. Most people know me for not being stuck or not not having nothing. Literally for the last four months I haven't had anything. Uh, no car, no house, no job, no money, anything. Four months flat. Just dealing with everything that's been happening with me. I've been blessed. I can't say I haven't. My kids have been getting to school. My kids have been having their own space, their own rooms. My kids been getting necessity needs. I currently stay with my kid dad right now. Um, usually, everything go swell like i i believe in god so i don't i don't worry about anything i have a lot of faith that god is going to seek me through so i normally just chill out and don't think of anything you know of course i got bills like everybody else everybody has bills those things need to be taken care of me sitting at home really not helping but i'm not really worried about it so Basically, I have a daily routine. Usually the daily routine goes off of taking his mom to work, getting back by like 5.03. Usually I take him to work, but he's having a little issue or acting funny or whatever the situation may be. I usually get back after taking him to work at like 5.30. Normally we'll be leaving out. I'll be back about 6.03, 6.07. Then I proceed to get my children ready, getting their breakfast ready, getting them going. Drop my son off about like 7.40, drop my daughter off at like 8.30, 8.40 almost. And usually sit at my cousin's house or my homegirl house until my kids get out. So like, I don't really, like I take care of my business, but usually, I usually have her other granddaughter, which is an infant. And that's his sister's daughter, so it kind of it goes like a long way for that. So I usually don't do anything after that; just wait around. You know, I cook, I clean, I do all of that stuff. The only difference about it is this is not my real house. I don't have to do as much of it as it will be done in my own house because I don't have to clean certain areas because it has nothing to do with me. But like I do it when I'm working four jobs. Everybody that know me, I'm a workaholic. So when I am working four or five jobs, I'm still cooking, cleaning, making sure my kids doing the same thing. The only difference is that I'm at home right after I do that. I don't go straight to work or, you know, take care of anything else. Like I, I, I make my promotions and I get my self going with certain things and promoting others and getting my businesses, you know, popping. But other than that, like, I don't physically go to a nine to five anymore. Um, currently it will be coming back up. Um, just been like a little break. Most people would love to be at home with their kids and do exactly what I'm doing, but I do this 
working four or five jobs either way because that's just who I am. I'm very multitasking when it comes to certain things. But, so, however, this is basically just giving you an insight of me and giving you daily routine, situations that I'm doing, getting people to understand who I am, you know, as a person. Um, you know, it's going to be some reenacts of things that I already have happened to me uh, and so forth and so on. You know, everybody has been through the trauma of, you know, heartache, breaks, happy, sad, angry, pissed, mad, whatever. And I'm just going to give you that. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoy the next couple of uploads. And I'm looking for comments and questioning. And we'll see what happens. And you guys enjoy your day. And uh, I will see you soon. Goodbye.